Hey guys, it's Wendy and as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a makeup routine yap session. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, which is why I am just going to update you guys while doing my makeup. I already did my eyebrows and my lashes because this is like the most time consuming part of my makeup. For my eyebrows, I just concealed them with um, Hourglass Concealer, the bottom one. I concealed with shade Birch. And then the top, I concealed with the shade Silk. But yeah, I'm just gonna start with my face. And I am asked you guys on Instagram to just ask questions or give me things to talk about. So while I do my makeup, I'm just gonna um, talk about some topics. So, okay, the first question is, or not question, topic is your journey to becoming big on social media and how it impacted your life for you and Valentina. Okay, first I'm gonna show you guys what I use. I use the Hourglass foundation in the shade 4.5. Honestly, like my dream was always to become like a social media person, like an influencer, I guess. Um, ever since me and Ever were young, we would literally record videos on our iPad just to record them. Like we wouldn't even upload them. And then in high school, we started taking it kind of serious and we ended up getting like 50k subscribers from it. But then we stopped because I like went through some shit and I just got like, I don't want to say depressed, but like I just got, I was just very unmotivated to do YouTube, even though if it, even though it was my dream, you know, like I just, I don't know, like I just felt so motivated so we completely stopped and then when I got pregnant last year I had a dream that I went live on TikTok and so I went live on TikTok and it did pretty good I had like 500 viewers the first live ever so so after that I just like continued so I wouldn't like say becoming big on social media like came out of nowhere because uh, this is literally like, all I've ever wanted to do so I kind of knew this was my destiny <laughs> I kind of knew like I, I this is what I was going to do because I've literally been wanting to do it since I was like 12 years old and just the hate comments like I feel like I just let them get to me so I guess in that way it impacted me but I mean everything else that came with it I kind of wanted you know I wanted people to ask me for pictures even though I hate it like I want random people to take pictures of me without me knowing like this is all I ever wanted so I mean it's not it's not a bad thing the way it's impacted me but it definitely has oh me not making sense if I don't make sense um take me back to ELD class like I'm sorry and the next topic is my relationship status right now I am actually taken. Just kidding. Um, I don't know honestly. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna start with my contour though. It's the shade It's Giving by Murillo Twins collab. Shout out to Re Beauty Creations. They sent me this. It's so good. So I just put this right here, right here. My relationships. My relationship status. Um, honest. Like I'm single as fuck. I don't want to date. I don't think I'm gonna date anytime soon like that's not my goal i don't want a boyfriend I, I don't like want anything right now obviously like i wouldn't mind going on a date or two but i haven't gone on a date in so long and i know like my whole thing that i'm known for is like being a bop because i used to go on so many dates but actually fun fact um i've only been since my breakup i've only been on a date with like two guys and then when I did the get ready with me's, it was literally the same guy for like the past like how long was it? Like the the three months that I was going on dates was with the same guy. So like all the bop accusations, like I'm not I'm not a bop. I, and even if I was like fuck yeah, I'm, that's also something that's like always bothered me is that people are like she goes on a date with thirty different guys. When it was like really the same guy, I just couldn't say who it was because it was a Mustang boy. I'm not looking to date. I'm not even dating. Like I'm not going out on dates. So I'm just living single life. Hopefully for a while. Okay. The next topic. 
was kind of like on the same thing like dating after like becoming a mom and i know this isn't like a universal thing for moms because most moms have their baby daddy with them but i'm a single mom so honestly i i, I never knew like i was gonna have to date after being a mom like that never crossed my mind i never was like oh i'm gonna date after being a mom because i was obviously like with my baby daddy but when it did happen, like, I I honestly didn't know how to go about it. I don't know if I should say I have a baby on the first date, but wait a bit. Like, it was just super confusing for me. But with the two guys, like, I have gone on date with, dates with, it has been, like, super easy. Like, it's super chill. Um, nobody has really ever cared that I have a baby. Maybe deep down they do. But, like, the two guys never really cared. And um, with one of the guys... Like, I guess, like, when you go on dates, you kind of have to tell them because um, I went on a, on a date with Mustang Boy. And he was like, oh, like, what do you do, like, every day? And I didn't want to say I had a baby because I felt kind of weird, you know? But he kept asking me because, and I seemed lazy because I was like, oh, I don't do anything all day. I just stay home and do nothing. But then I kind of, like, had to tell him because, like, that's what I do all day. I'm just with Valentina. So, and he obviously didn't care. So, I don't know. It's. It's honestly pretty hard because if you don't have a good baby daddy, then you don't really have help. Or if you don't have a like village to help you, it's really hard to make time for dates. But for me, I have a baby daddy and we and we split um, custody. So whenever I have the chance, you know, I go out and have fun. So I think it just depends on your situation, honestly. My situation... I mean, thank goodness I have a baby daddy who helps, so that means I can go on dates. For the concealer, I use the same exact thing as the um, as what I used to carve out my eyebrows. So for the darker one, I use a little bit because I kind of I go like this, just like the tiniest bit. And then for the lighter one, I use a little bit more. Topic is about like hate comments and stuff. I mean, there's a lot I have to say about hate comments. The, the main one I get is usually like, oh, um, deadbeat mom, your mom always watches Valentina, you're never with Valentina, you have no connection with Valentina. Like, there's a lot I can say to that, but like the main thing that kind of bothers me is that people say that I leave Valentina with my mom whenever I go out to California or when I go out on dates, and that's literally never the case um, um whenever i go to la for for a week or however long my baby daddy watches her because we have like split custody so like obviously he's gonna watch her and also he doesn't work so it's not like i'm taking something away from him you know like he doesn't work so obviously he's gonna have to watch valentina when i'm out working and then obviously like people Assume my mom always watches Valentina because Valentina's with my mom like two hours of the day and the reason for that like I don't have to explain myself at all But the reason for that is because my mom wants to take care of Valentina like my mom gets sad if I say no to her taking care of her Like my mom's always like oh, let me watch her while you go out. Oh, let me watch her while you go to the store Let me watch her while you go to the gym like whatever it is like my mom's always offering there's Recently there hasn't been a time where I asked her to watch her and then on that topic, when me and my baby daddy first broke up, um, I don't know if you guys knew, but he didn't help me at all. So it was like a good like two months where it was just me and Valentina. And during that time, that's when I asked her to watch Valentina. During the weekends, um, like I would go out and shit and she would watch my daughter. But that was because Carlos, my baby daddy, never helped. So obviously I'm going to need some time by myself. And I'm, I want to go out. If my baby daddy's going out fucking, I don't know, fucking bitches. I don't know what he's doing. Then I have a right to go out on the weekend. And it doesn't matter if my mom's watching Valentina. Like, she's well taken care of. But yeah, that lasted like a good, I would say, month where I would go out on the weekends. And then after that, that's when Carlos kind of stepped in. He was like, okay, I'll be a dad. So then he started watching her weekends. And I watched her weekdays. But now it's one week, one week. Which has actually been working out. I miss Valentina, but 
I mean, I, I know Carlos, he's not a bad dad at all. He, oop, me saying he didn't watch her for like two months, but he, he's not a bad dad when he's with her. Like he, he knows how to take care of her. So like, I never worry when, that's why in Calif when I'm in California, when I'm doing whatever, I never worry because I know Carlos is a good dad, you know, and that's why I don't mind leaving like for a week to California with Carlos watching her because he's a good dad. That's what's changed recently and honestly it's been working out so good. Um, Valentina, well I don't know how she feels about it but um, it's been working out. I do powder and honestly I'm not the one I'm you should not take makeup makeup tips from me because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing but I use the fit me pressed powder I don't know what this is called but I use the NARS uh, like I think it's bronzer I'm just like ooh, maybe not that much. I'll just blend that ooh, I did a little bit too much but I look I look super white right now so it's okay for my lips, I use, it depends, I use, I've been using Strip Down by MAC, and I just, like, line my lips with this, like that, and then, sometimes, not all the time, I use this little chapstick, Burt Bees, it's tinted, and I just use this, because it kind of, like, gives a, okay. oh, and then also, I've been using highlighter, so I'm going to go ahead and use highlighter. This is the final makeup look. I know I didn't go too in-depth because honestly, you shouldn't take makeup tips from me. People always tell me my makeup looks super smooth, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully I told you guys where everything is from. If I didn't, comment down below. Hopefully you guys like my yapping session. I know when I yap, I don't make sense. Like, I just be spitting words out and I do not make sense, but... Yeah, guys, that's basically it for today's video. I'm going to start uploading on YouTube more often. So if you want to watch more of my videos, subscribe, um, leave a like, and comment down below a heart emoji. Bye, guys. Thank you guys for watching.